If you've ever buckled a wheel or punctured trying to get up a kerb, this video is for you. The problem with kerbs is that it's very easy to get up them badly and not know it. That's why we're using a platform that is roughly one foot off the ground. The only way to get up this is properly. It might feel right to use as much speed as possible, but this only means you have less time to think about what you're doing, so it actually makes it harder. You need to have a small amount of pace behind you, but not a lot. Ride up to your obstacle and start free coasting a couple of bike lengths before it. Your first action is to lean back and lift the front wheel, and this will probably be sooner than you think, a good few feet prior to the edge. You might not get it right first time, and you should probably practice beforehand to make sure you can get enough height. You should be aiming your front wheel for just over the lip of the obstacle. It should feel like you glide onto it rather than dropping the front wheel onto it. When your front wheel hits the edge, you must move your weight over the front of the bike, so stand up. This unweights the back of the bike, and at this stage, even without bunny hopping, the back end of your bike will probably roll onto the object. A way of practicing this is to have your front wheel on the object and your pedal resting on it. From there, try lunging the handlebars forward and bunny hopping the back wheel up. This is the action you'll use. Once you start feeling comfortable, you can try for bigger obstacles using exactly the same principles. Unweighting is, it was actually one of the hardest things to learn as a beginner, I found. Unweighting the back wheel is, is key, again, like most of these moves, um, to, to just, just learning to maneuver your body weight around the bike. Really what you're doing is you're not lifting your feet up, you're pushing your feet back and that's what gives you the lift. You can just practice going from as small as a kerb to as big as a, any of the platforms we use. It will, will help you get your bunny hop, which is the, well, probably the move you're going to learn after that. Feeling confident? Then check out the rest of our videos.